let us discuss pH of mixture of weak acids. For that consider any two hypothetical acids. One is HA1 with C1 concentration, another one HA2 with C2 concentration. As we know the weak acids are in equilibrium with their respective ions and these two are present in a mixture. That means the total H plus ion concentration at equilibrium is equal to the H plus ion concentration that is contributed from the first acid at equilibrium plus the H plus ion concentration that is contributed from the second acid at equilibrium. So, we know the concentration of the H plus for weak acids is usually expressed as C alpha. So, here let us apply that for the first acid it would be C 1 alpha 1 and for the second acid it would be C 2 alpha 2. That means, the total concentration of H plus at equilibrium state would be C 1 alpha 1 plus C 2 alpha 2. So, this concentration is common at equilibrium for both equilibrium states that means, both acids equilibrium states. Those are H A 1 is raised to H plus plus A minus and H A 2 is raised to H plus plus A 2 negative. Okay. So, now initially the concentration of H A 1 is C 1 the ions concentration 0 at equilibrium the concentration of H A 1 is 1 minus alpha 1 and this is C 1 alpha 1 plus C 2 alpha 2 and this is C 1 alpha 1. Now, for the second acid initially the concentration is C 2 and the ions concentration is 0 at equilibrium the concentration is C 2 into 1 minus alpha 2 and this is again same as like above that is C 1 alpha 1 plus C 2 alpha 2 and A 2 negative is C 2 alpha 2. Now, let us express the ionization constants for this both equilibrium states. Now, the ionization constant for the first acid K A 1 is equal to the products concentrations product that is H plus A 1 negative by H A 1. Now, substitute those values H plus N concentration is C 1 alpha 1 plus C 2 alpha 2 into A 1 negative concentration C 1 alpha 1 by C 1 into 1 minus alpha 1 and here we know degree of dissociation of the weak acid is much less than 1. In that case we can consider the 1 minus alpha as 1. Now, 1 minus alpha 1 is equal to 1. Now, rearrange this equation that would be C 1 K A 1 is equal to C 1 alpha 1 plus C 2 alpha 2 into C 1 alpha 1. This is the first equation. Now, do the same thing for the second equilibrium state that is second acid's equilibrium state. Let us consider that would be K A 2 which is H plus A 2 negative and H A 2 that is equal to C 1 alpha 1 plus C 2 alpha 2 and A 2 negative concentration C 2 alpha 2 over C 2 into 1 minus alpha 2. Here also same thing the degree of ionization of the weak acids are much less than 1. So, in that case you can ignore the 1 minus alpha 2. Now, this denominator term 1 minus alpha 2 is equal to 
1 and rearrange this equation as like the above it would be c2 k2 is equal to c1 alpha 1 plus c2 alpha 2 half c2 alpha 2 this is second equation now add these two equations that is c1 ka1 plus c2 ka2 is equal to c1 alpha 1 plus c2 alpha 2 into c1 alpha 1 plus now simplify this c1 ka1 plus c2 ka2 is equal to if you simplify this it would be c1 alpha 1 plus c2 alpha 2 to the power 2. We know the concentration of H plus is equal to c1 alpha 1 plus c2 alpha 2. So, you can replace this term with concentration of H plus that is H plus to the power 2 is equal to C1 Ka1 plus C2 Ka2. From this, the concentration of H plus is equal to under root of C1 Ka1 plus C2 Ka2. This is the concentration of the H plus of mixture of two weak acids. After knowing the value of the H plus by substituting that value in the regular pH equation that is minus log of H plus you will get the value of pH.